Senior figures at University of Edinburgh, including Princess Anne, were warned about their choice of principal, according to the Times. Staff from Hong Kong University said Peter Matteson failed to uphold academic freedom and freedom of speech. Entity's foreign affairs correspondent Sharon Xu has more on this. The Times reported that the University of Edinburgh's Chancellor, Princess Anne, received a letter from the Hong Kong University expressing concerns over the then incoming principal, Peter Matheson. The letter said a staff survey showed 78% of respondents strongly disagreed that Professor Matheson had effectively protected academic freedom. Matheson was the principal of Hong Kong University from 2014 to 2018 and it was embroiled in a series of controversies. In 2017, amid student protests against the erosion of democracy and human rights, Matheson signed a joint statement with the heads of nine other universities that said, We treasure freedom of expression, but we condemn its recent abuses. Freedom of expression is not absolute. The statement also condemned the idea of Hong Kong independence. Apple Daily said in an opinion piece that the statement was most likely made at the request of the government. In the same year, Matheson announced that video footage of student demonstrators would be made available to the police and moved to curtail anonymity for whistleblowers. Matheson became the highest earner in Scottish higher education when he accepted the position of principal in the University of Edinburgh in 2018. Last month, he defended the university's hosting of the Confucius Institute for Scotland. The Confucius Institutes are funded by the Chinese Communist Party, which also decides the curriculum and supplies teaching staff. Scotland has the highest concentration of Confucius Institutes and programs in the world. According to the Times, Matheson has faced calls for his resignation. Sir Tom Devine, historian at the University of Edinburgh, said an unacceptable and sinister culture has taken root in the home of the Scottish Enlightenment. Sharon Shu, NTD News.